Alright, um, hey Chris, it's Hash again. I'm making another video be to um, help you distinguish between Forex and Forex binary. Um, I've been doing the Pip Baby Pip School for a little for a while now, and um, yeah, it is like all the courses, all the little like class quote unquote lessons are all available for free. Um, when you get once you get to the end, there will be talks between Forex options versus binary trading options, and both forex and forex binary are the same thing but at the same time there are a lot more key differences so this is what i was talking about saying okay what kind of style what kind of type of trading you want to do that will fit your play style or what you are trying to seek um so we'll start off so forex and forex binary so what's the difference between forex and forex binary is that even though they're training the same same pairings um both act differently um, in terms of how to make profits and manage your money um, forex you would how would forex work it for, original forex would work is you would um, put a order in with let's say a buy stop for example you would set the percent you would say like I want I feel like this is going to go up uh, 60 pips so you would count on your little chart thing on your little trading view set it up okay i want my take profit mark my take profit at let's say uh 125 the current uh the current like pairing rate right now is at one seven one four fourteen so i feel like it's going to go up that much so i'll put a thing in there and i won't put my i'll put my stop loss as like maybe 110 for example right and then you will put place the order in and then once the um, market hits your entry order it would automatically open up the trade and then from there it will you would you could monitor it if you like but if you're confident you can actually just let the system automatically let it go you don't need to baby it that much although since we're starting i think you should probably baby it <laughs> um and it's not only buy stops too, there are sell stops, there are buy limits, sell limits. Um, I heard about GTC, which is good till closing, or GTD, which is good till day um, types of orders. So they, those times, they won't close until you decide to close them. There's market executions, which is if you want to get into a trade really, really quickly for whatever reasons. Um, binary options are different. Um, what we, what CPS does, and what I do, is uh, binary trading. And binary trading, well, 60 second binary trading. So it's only for 60 second trades. So these trades only last for 60 seconds. Whereas forex, they could last from one second till days or months or even a year. Uh, but uh, that sounds really unheard of and that's really really risky binary trading you can although yeah sure they do have options for like 10 15 minute binary option orders the most popular ones are 60 second 90 second 120 second trading so they only open and close within that certain amount of time and win or lose they will automatically close they will not wait till you're in the profits and close out automatically so it's kind of like a little bit of like say roulette for example right um if your prediction's wrong you lose all the money that you risk if your prediction's right you get your money back plus a return common setup for these types of options are 80 percent although for 60 seconds is usually somewhere somewhere between uh 70 to well actually even lower than that maybe like 65 to 71 percent whereas the binary options uh one is more of um uh 79 percent i think i think i even saw 81 percent at one point so here will be a good example is for instance if someone puts in let's say ten dollars into us a euro and he gets it correct he would get his ten dollars back plus an eighty dollar return for being right within that sixty seconds um but if that currency drops he would lose his ten dollars um so basically it really comes down to 
how many time the majority of how many times you're winning your bets and how big are you putting your bets in because you could win um, two times in a row make so you so let's say for let's say the ten dollar to eighty percent eighty percent return rate so if you win two times eighty percent on the ten dollars you would only get sixteen dollars in profits because you only made eight dollar you only made your eight dollars plus from your investment right but then lose the next trade on a ten dollar and have that sixteen dollar profit you had get wiped down to six dollars so that's the issue um, whereas forex because for its forex trading because you can set your own targets and profits you don't really need to matter about how many times you win in forex as long as you are making the most bang out of your butt out of your buck, but well, out of your buck when putting in trade orders. Like you could lose maybe uh, ten one dollar trades in a row and lose one dollar for each one, but then suddenly make that one giant trade that will give you profits of like forty dollars because you you added more lot size and you want in it and you were watching this since uh, the start of number of the first trade right and as it went up you you know made that money uh what else more risk and more and higher variability um this applies to more more to forex but some to also to um binary as well right because in binary you can only say it will go up or down your risk of winning or losing a trade is 50 50 in the ideal situation of course we all know that the forex markets are not the ideal perfect world and also because binary options um have when you have your selection for currency parents right um, not all currency pairings are going to be on that list. They often have a short list of usually the major pairings and a few minor pairings of those major pairings. So your major pairings are the USD, Yen, uh, Euro, and GDP, and AUD, right? And those are your major pairings. And then within those major pairings, the minor ones will will be um, like swapped around, right? So USD CAD, USD Swiss, um, Euro Swiss, um, Euro GDP. So that's how, and they would, and each binary option website would have a different type of. Um, uh, I would say type of short different type of short list, right? So for example, Starline Cap Starline Starline Capital, for example, does not have AUD USD but has AUD NZD, whereas Fimpari.com would have AUD USD but not AUD NZD pairings as one example. Uh, Forex on the other hand, Forex you can trade any pairing you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. But with that because there are so much options on forex you can't like you'll be so overwhelmed by how much information and how much pairings you need to memorize that you may lose out on certain good trades whereas on forex on uh, binary forex um you can concentrate on okay there is maybe five different pairings on a list i will concentrate on three of them right you can pick and choose what you want today and this is usually influenced by how you're feeling about the markets um your fundamental analysis looking at your economic calendar seeing okay hey which one's having the heaviest news today which one's having the lowest news news today and so on and so forth um we already touched up on timelines um, timelines for Forex, it can last from one second to months or days or months, whereas binary trading, although yes, they do have a 10-15 minute option, um, 
most popular ones are the 60 seconds, uh, 120 seconds, and 30 second types of trades, right? Uh, margins, I have no clue where margin, margins are, so do not so do not ask me about this. Basically, it's just a little thing that helps you increase the amount of money you can put into a trade. Um, I think uh, Baby Pips, one of the Baby Pips um, uh, kindergarten or preschool ones, actually goes into more in depth about margins. So I really recommend doing reading that one. Uh, what else we're missing here? Um, surprise volatility risk. So when the markets are often volatile, it is usually not an issue for binary trading options. Um... That's kind of debatable on, on that one. Um, I think it's in, I think it's talking in terms of more like swing trading. So like uh, a market start going down for a certain amount of time and then suddenly just goes another direction. Um, I could probably see that for forex, right? Let's say let's say for forex you put a a uh, sell order for. USD JPY, it's been going down for like 20 pips, but then suddenly spikes up to 30, right? And you were imp and you didn't for some reason you didn't put a uh, stop loss, you didn't set down a stop loss, right? For whatever reason, and then suddenly from making a profit of maybe 17 dollars, you in one swing trade you would lose 20 dollars, right? For binary options, that's not an issue because your max risk is already set as well as your max reward it is going either up or down it does not matter um furthermore the trade error is a bit um small because for binary options in order to win a trade you only need to have that trade if you were to call it that the, that the, if you're going to call that's going to go up then as long as it goes up one pip you're winning that trade if you are if you called it going up and it goes down it only needs one pip to lose that trade so error is really small in that i guess in those terms because all you need to do is just make it go up one right and and because the trades are often 60 seconds, they're really, really short durations. So, like, you know, nothing out of the ordinary will usually make it, you know, lose your trade. Whereas Forex, sometimes in order to make a decent profit, it will have to go longer. So there's more chances of it becoming an error the longer it's durates the, tr the, tr the buy order or the sell order you put in Forex. Um, which kind of ties down to trade management flexibility and maximizing the reward and risk. Uh, what else we have here that I'm missing? Oh, another one, and this is actually really, really important that you actually want to segue into is um, how much money are you putting in? to your accounts because in order to for let's say forex.ca if you're thinking of only putting a hundred dollars in and that's i don't know if it's going to be canadian or usd uh you are really really limiting the amount of uh trading you can do because of convergency differences um fees and so on and so forth um whereas binary right um you can open up a Fimpari account for like only 250 bucks usd obviously um and from my research because i was looking into forex um ideally for a day trader you or you would need at least or a scalp trader for even then you would at least need minimum two thousand dollars in order to make a decent 
profit, you could say decent growth in your trading account. Yeah, sure, I think you can open up $500 and still be able to trade a, a lot of the majority pairings, but honestly, ideally, I would say maybe $1,000 for a Forex account would be your best option. Um... Because in that way you can get a lot of the major pairings to trade, which has a lot of activity. Um, so yeah, but then I mean, and then versus like Fimpari, right, or any other binary. I think usually the minimum average is usually like a two hundred and fifty bucks. Although I think I ended up opening up a Skyline account for one hundred and fifty, if I if I recall correctly. But yeah. That's how it works. You don't need to spend that much money into um, binary options. So the counter argument to that is that there is no reliable free binary option that you can practice with. Whereas Forex, you can open up a uh, Forex demo account, right? And just demo trade until you get used to it. Whereas... And while you're getting used to it, spending those months practicing, getting used to your routines of doing forex trading, you'll be saving money to open up a thousand dollar account, for example, right? Whereas in binary trading, you have to like go in, right? You need to go in with 250. I have not seen a pro a, a, a secure free one or a reliable free one. Um, I think really that's it. Oh yeah, another uh, issue with uh, forex and uh, versus binary is when closing a position. Um, depending on how the companies for binary how they set it up, if you were to sell a position before it expires, sometimes it may not be that much worth. In um, especially if you're losing, right? Like the times I've lost trades, I only got like maybe sixty-two cents back for like a ten-dollar trade. And that's not worth it. <laughs> or I sell a position when it's winning and you're only getting like maybe like eight bucks back for your ten dollar trade. So whereas in Forex, right? Um you can wait for it to break even and walk away with not losing any of your money, right? Um or take like maybe a 60 cent trade okay how about here's a good example let's say it goes down one pip and you know that it's going to go down even further and your loss is at negative 20 cents i would rather take that negative 20 cents versus let's say getting 60 cents because then i can re-enter into the market and then make a profit right Actually, that's actually a bad example. Where's another bad example? Okay, another good example is that if within a six-second duration on Forex, I would lose maybe negative 20 cents, whereas in binary, I would lose $10 or only gain 62 cents, right? Well, and by the way, this gaining 62 cents is not being added to your $10 return. You're, so in other words, you're, only, you're losing $9 and... Uh, 38 cents i don't know but yeah you're basically losing money you're only getting like maybe like a small fraction of that back right so i don't know if that's really worth it in terms of closing position i think a lot of people rather just let let the thing just tickle trickle down and hopefully hope for the best or something um Honestly, in the end, I probably agree with this guy. I would rather have do both, have a Forex account and a binary options account, try to keep them minimal, and just work on both of them. But if you do really feel like that maybe binary trading, which is really fast paced, um, win or lose style of trading suits you, or maybe you like to open up a Forex account instead, because then you can get the free demo account and practice strategies and skills. That's totally up to you. Um, yeah, so hopefully this video helped. I don't think it did, but <laughs> I'll talk to you soon, all right? Later.